Hi guys and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. Uh, something just happened. Um, teachings of Lost, the Night Singer. Oh yeah, we are in the library, that's right. I don't know why this thing is flashing up. But yeah, let's see. Let's go take that spear. If not over, then through. What's this? Dark Justicia half plate. Don't be shy. Maybe it's worth huh. taking. Could be a nice armor. Let's move. Let's see. Black. Is there a plaque over there? No. What does this say? Shroud yourself in blackest night. Okay. Moving ahead. Ah, I'll give it a shot. Trust your secrets to the night. Deliver the night mother's mercy upon her enemies. Okay. Something good here, I hope. Oh. Dark Justicia helmet. Very rare. Magic durability. The wielder has a plus one bonus to saving throws against spells. Covered critical. When obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Constitution saving throws plus one. Okay. Sounds good. So we read one of the books or something we read said that the spear would only be like special if it was used by the chosen one. I would suppose that means that since Shadowheart did all the blood landing for the trials, maybe she should take the spear. Let's see. This is no ordinary spear. May be important. Best keep it close. Oh, okay. I thought. Spear of Night, 3 to 10, Shar Blessing. Shar's Blessing. If Shar allows it, use the spear to kill Night Song. To kill Night Song? Okay. Who's Night Song? Huh. So we got the spear. Okay. I thought... Um, teaching of Laws on Secrets. I thought... Night Song was something in one of her books. So that it was... It says um, the only way to defeat the Night Song is no silencing the Night Singer, and I thought that um, Char was the Night Singer, since she seems to be like all about night and darkness. So maybe I was wrong. A lever, a lever handle. Let's take this. Could be useful. Maybe it's missing somewhere. Oh. Infected? Infected with what? Has this advantage on constitution throws. The rat attacked me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, the rat is attacking us. The hell? Kill the rat. Um, you, you can speak with animals, right? We outnumber you. Leave me be. Oh. 
Okay. What the hell? Well, Shadowheart is infected. Ours has passed already. Yeah, it's going down quite fast. Oh, now we have the lever to put in here so we can come up and down. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be useful in the future. But maybe. Otherwise, I don't think we would have gotten the lever. Okay, so we so are back up we here. And we have the sphere, I think. That we need for that. Oh yeah, that other guy. Does he want the spear or what is it that he wants? Um, not, not this, what's this? Not this, I want this. Cateric Thorns Relic. We acquire another Umbral Gem from one of Shar's Trials. We acquired a new Umbral Gem from Shar's Trials. We found an Umbral Gem. More are needed to unlock the Temple's Inner Sanctum. To enter the Temple's Inner Sanctum we must complete the Gauntlet of Shar's Trials made for her elite soldiers and Dark Justiciars. Okay. We success successfully navigated the Fate Leap trial and the Gauntlet of Shar, leaving Shadowheart elated. We completed the Soft Step trial and the Gauntlet of Shar. Shadowheart is greatly pleased. We discovered the Gauntlet of Shar, a huge ancient temple dedicated to the Dark Goddess. Shadowheart will certainly want to investigate further. Zevlo was captured by the Cult of the Absolute. His fellow tieflings claim he froze and tried to surrender. We should look for him. He found Arabella's parents. We should break the news to her at camp. Oh yeah, we have been at camp already and we do didn't tell her. Raphael told us of a nemesis who, of who, a nemesis of his who lurks in the depths beneath the mausoleum. Evidently we should try to deal with this old enemy. Okay. And this one. Hmm. Um, how many do we need? Is it for this here? I think it is. Better not be cursed. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. The okay. gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. Examine the altar. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. What are these trials? In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials, then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. Okay, did that. Um. All right, I help. Thank help you. if I can. If I become a dark justicia, I'll have Lady Shah's highest blessing oh, and they... her arsenal at my disposal. Both of them. This will be good for all of us. Are not happy with that. Let's explore. Okay, insert item. We should have some of these balls. Where are they? We found two of them at least. What? Uh, 
Uh, oh, maybe she has them. Wits and blades always shock. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that worked out. Wait. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong at all. What's going on? Tell me. It's fine. Really. I just feel we're on the right track. I'm right where I need to be. Under Lady Shah's gaze. Okay, this one's going crazy too. She's going to turn on us, isn't she? Like, um, Blazel did. Maybe we should explore that other side first. We have been down there. Is there more trials on that side? Maybe there is. For Shadowheart to complete. Let's let's try going to that side first. So that's progress. Um We took a lot of damage already and used uh, not he didn't use too many of his spells. She used a few, he also didn't. So maybe a short rest would be enough. Yeah, let's do a short rest. Let's throw down a save and let's go fight those weird guys on the other side. These guys over here somewhere. Oops. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Um. Oh, there he is. What the hell? Okay, good thing we saved. <laughs> What the hell? Just threw us down there, what the heck? That wasn't... ...nice at all. Let's see if we can do a better job of this one. Um, where was it? Down here. Animals. How can we get down there without getting thrown down? move over to this side so we don't get pushed down immediately there's a rope here can't we use this rope doesn't look like it what is this just a place to look around looks like it's just a big chasm doesn't go anywhere okay so now they are um, ambushing us from there. Your gear. A fiend. Devil's sight. You can see normally in darkness both magical and non magical to a distance of 24 meters. Okay. Fiend, large. Armor class 17. Resistances... Okay. Oh, there's a chasm that on that side too. Or is, this, is that the way I came down? Yes, it is. What's down this side? No, it's not. I came down from here. Right. Okay. Whoops. What's up this side? Maybe we can attack them from the back. Ah. 
No, can't jump over there, it seems. Uh, just by a little. No, no. Uh, uh, no. Okay. So we have to fight them here. There they come. Did he throw someone down? No, he didn't. Warding Maragon. Yeah, and there's a lot of these guys also. What did that guy do? Just attack the floor. Well, I guess this guy probably worth attacking hard immediately. Yeah, preventing it from turning invisible. This is good. Branding smite. Branding smite range. No. You're not gonna like this, mate. Nice. And she hit. And... Lacerate? Oh, and it does give us an extra attack? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh, damn. Immediately critted us. Shallow, move over here and blast that guy hard. Um, or maybe up there, an ice storm up there. Let's see. Oh, they have double cold resistance. Probably not the best idea. Maybe a fireball? Could do a fireball there. Is it hitting him also? Nope. Can I hit him and them? Without hitting Karlach. Doesn't look like it. Maybe we should concentrate on this guy. So... Two beams of crackling energy. Acid splash. Throw a shard of ice that deals 1 to 10 piercing damage. It explodes and deals 2 to 12 to anyone nearby. Nope. I guess the Scorching Ray it is. Max level. And hit him. Zero. Immune to fire damage. Oh, immune. Fire immunity. Poison immunity. Damn it. Fire immunity. I didn't I didn't notice that. I didn't know that meant immunity. I thought he just had resistance. Okay, more guys coming. Are they immune too or are they only? Yeah, immune and immune to poison and fire. Okay. That's bad, because all my biggest spells are, like, fire-based. Um, can I put this guy up here? Wait. Not enough movement. No, I can't put him up there. Too far away. Mm. 
Mirror image. Create real uh, of yourself. Okay. I want to protect. Distract your enemies with an illusion. No blessing of the trickster, sacred flame. Resistance. Make a target more resistant to spell effects and conditions. It receives 1d7, d4 saving throws. Polymorph. Stow curse. Curse a creature with your touch? Mm -hmm. I don't want to touch. That's way too close. Fire is immune. He's immune against fire. Guidance, Sacred Flame, it's Radiant Damage, so that could be something. This is only from yourself. Blade War, take only half damage from bludgeoning, piercing and slashing attacks. Will be only on herself, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And turn. You will. You need to do some damage on that guy. Um, preferably something he's not immune to. He's not immune to necrotic. Oh, twenty percent hit rate. Hit chance. Why? 50%? Huh. Holy more. 12%, okay. Fire shield. Shatter. Um, penalty against things. Can I try m more times on him? Not really. Wait, then let's get further over here. And now let's try to pain. Targets too far, targets too far, damn it. Let's just Eldritch, bla Eldritch, Eldritch blast him. Okay, 9 damage. And his turn. Now it's all the enemies. Turn. Ooh, what the hell? He has a shotgun? <laughs> Concussive burst. It works like a shotgun, at least, it seems. What's that? Bortonic hand bomb. Where did those come from? Oh, it's what he shot? Probably it's what he shot. Um, yeah, this is fire damage, this won't help. Vulnerable to slashing. And now hit him. Say bye bye. Nice. And again. Okay. And turn. More guys going to shoot. Why are they not coming down here? Karwak needs to be healed. Uh, she's going down fast. You. What does your bow do? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, so fire won't work. Hideous laughter is not very useful at the moment. Maybe we could blow those guys up. Whoops. Yeah, get over here. These boots have seen everything. Blow these guys up a little. Path is interrupted. Oh, by the big guy. Damn it. Um, do a big one of these. Nice. Oh, he threw out more bombs? Does he throw out bombs each time he's hit or what? Oh, all the bombs are exploding. Damn. Oh, Shadow Token was taken down. Totally taken down. You can resurrect him, supposedly, or hopefully. This creature is dead, casting Revivify can bring him back to life. Okay. Those bombs are nasty. Yeah, you have to do some big damage here. We have to guarantee that this guy goes down. Like this. Oh, Karla went down too. Damn it. <laughs> that wasn't the intent. Um, mass healing. Okay. I should have resurrected shallow first and turn the fearless scroll of revivify too far away move up scroll of revivify on him and do it here okay i must heal and turn more explosions Carla. Oh, you can't attack, so do your protection on yourself. Okay. End your turn. Oh, now they can jump down. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. We are not going far. Okay. Load game. Okay, that's a tough fight. Um, yeah, we are almost at 30 minutes, so I think we will try it again next time. Because I guess I will cut this when we are loaded back in. Um, we are downstairs. Yes, we are. Okay. Am I going to camp first? Maybe I should go replenish all our resources. Maybe make a, um, a equipment check and stuff. See if we are all up to date with our equipment. So yeah, let's go to camp. Oh, and talk to the chick, to the girl. Uh, bad news, girl. I have something to ask. No. Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? Your parents are dead. I found their corpses. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. I'm so sorry, Arabella. It isn't true. It isn't. Get away from me. Go. Okay. Um, yeah, I will do a little bit of inventory sorting, but then the episode will be over for anyone that doesn't want to be watching this stuff. You can skip to the next episode, I guess. 
So, let's see. Weapons and stuff is everything is up here. Sword of life stealing. Life stealing critical. On a critical hit, the target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage as long as it isn't a construct or an undead. Also gain 10 temporary hit points. Let's take some of this stuff. What's this? Oh, these are the dice. Dark mind? Okay. Um, yeah, let's take rare clothing. I don't think we have anyone using clothing. The mental augmentation when one of your cantrip steals assets, blah blah blah, spell modifies to damage. Aberration Hunter, Sparkling Hands, and Speedy Light Feet. Guidance, Glowing Shield, Absolute's Warboard. What type of shield is she using? Oops. Or isn't she? Yes, she was using a shield. Ensnaring strike, okay. I've got a long road ahead. Do they have anything special? No. Um Speedy reply. This is a scimitar. Quarter staff. You want common swords and stuff like that. A big hammer. Yeah, maybe only this sword, if anything here is better than what we have. What is this? Hide armor. Um, a medium armor. Hide armor plus two. Oh. Maybe, yeah. Uh, take this in your inventory and this in your inventory. And then let's see what else we have. That was uh, light armor. You use light armor, right? Oh, it immediately changed it? Why? Gain one dexterity saving throws and checks, ambush a gun wine and initiative rolls. Oh yeah, it is better, so having it immediately equipped seems to be the right option. Oh and equip the sword also, wait, wait, wait. We are not proficient, right? Right. No no, I don't want this. This sword is a short sword. Um, six to sixteen. No, never mind. What a charmer! What does this do? Six to eleven. Huh. The minimum damage is the same, the max is less. But it could do... On a critical hit it could do more damage. Oh wait, this armor is also better. Charles Umbre. While obscured, the wearer has advantage on stealth checks, advantage on constitution saving throws checks. Charles Aegis. Plus one to initiative rolls. That's also nice. But it's more, it's one more armor class. Let's take this one. Yeah. 
Okay. And we got some nice helmet somewhere. Oh, and the spear, right. Um, threaded Treather by Twilight. You gain one bonus to armor class while obscured. Anyone? He doesn't have two rings. We have... She doesn't have any. So give it to her. Okay, and there was like... A uh, Justicia helmet, right? Where did that go? Here. Plus one saving throws against spells. And constitution saving throws. Yeah, why not? What's her... Oh, this is our helmet. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon, you gain arcane acuity. Making what does she sweat. have? When you succeed a saving throw, the foe that caused the throw takes one to four psychic damage. Yeah, let's equip that on her. Okay. Um, what else do we have? This we don't need. We have some more amulets and stuff. Surgeon Subjugation. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer were can paralyze the target for two turns. The speak with the dead, we can keep this in the inventory and use it only when we need it. This one seems nice. What else? Kalos Glow Ring. The wearer deals an addition two point points of damage against creatures that are illuminated. Okay, this sounds good. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells or actions, they can mental fatigue for two turns. What do we have here? Wait. Um, Arcane Radiance. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radiating orb upon the target. Okay. Fawn Caress, one of a magical pair of rings. This allows the wearer to receive warding pawn from a creature wearing the matching ring. Okay. Boots of apparent death. These boots allow the wearer to cast feign death once per short rest. In Venom, whenever you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw. Advantage on perception checks. Assassin's Short Sword. Advantage on Stealth Checks. So we know we don't have any Short Sword users. But these rings... seem to be nice. So let's equip them on someone. She just got one. Bonus to armor class when obscured. Um, against creatures that are illuminated. Okay. Next. Whatever comes. You have two rings already. He has one. What's next? What are her, her rings? Um, you can deal damage with the cantrip. You can. Gain Arcane Synergy, Shapeshifter Spoon. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a one... F okay, this one we don't use. Um, one of your spells, they gain Mental Fatigue. Okay. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are not that useful. Okay, I guess we don't have any upgrades 
Wait, he had something in his inventory that he picked up, right? No, someone else had picked up some stuff. She has the spear and the orb. And she has some things over here. This can all be sent to camp. Still breathing. Um, you too send all the unnecessary stuff to, stuff to camp. You have a lot of scrolls on you. But all of this stuff... Oh! Summon golem bell. Oh yeah, we have this one too. Nice, we can use that one to... to the price of pride. To fight um, the big guy now. Or maybe not now, maybe in the next episode. But yeah. That's an option I hadn't remembered. I didn't remember we had that bell. She is clear. She is carrying this stuff that can go. And he has this that can go. Okay. So I guess let's rest. What's this now? Auto select full rest. Oh, this took me ten minutes. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's uh, really time to end this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back for more next time, and I will see you soon. Bye.